your bitch got a real set up now. Hey, what's up? I'm a real tuber. I'm a real year. I'm a real YouTuber and it's over for you bitches. So the first thing that I want to do with all this new stuff is turn on my lights that I bought. This is <laughs> this is a professional set. I mean, Jesus Christ. Somebody's getting fired today. Am I blowing out the camera with my white shirt? That's why you don't wear white on camera, you big dummy. But you know what? We're gonna just work it out with some stripes, which you're also not supposed to wear on camera because that'll make me look like Glinguini. See, beautiful. Okay, so I don't know about you, but I haven't been able to get those pictures of the food from Kingdom Hearts 3's Bistro out of my head since they uh, since the game came out. I'm one of those very visual people, so if I see something that looks really good, I want it in my mouth. <sighs> I want it in my mouth now. So you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make every dish in the game. So here we go. Let's start out, I oh, hit my mic. Let's start out on this new journey together as I cook through the entirety of the Kingdom Hearts 3 Bistro menu. Tout le monde ne peut pas devenir un grand artiste, mais un grand artiste peut émerger n'importe où. Ne les pas sans vous imposer des limites sous prétexte de vos origines. Votre seule limite, c'est votre âme. Tout le monde peut cuisiner, mais seul les audacieux pourront entendre l'excellence. So the first dish that we're gonna do is, of course, the ratatouille, made popular by the movie Ratatouille, created by chef Remy Ratatouille. Now, one thing that I do know prior to starting to make this video is that uh, the ratatouille in ratatouille isn't actually ratatouille. I know. Uh, it's actually something called confit bialdi, which uh, granted is the same ingredients just prepared in a more modern, more gourmet kind of um, situation. Man, all I wanted to do was come home and make ratatouille, but life got me fucked. <laughs> So that's what we're, what we're gonna do. I feel like that would be a very good dish to start off with. Um, and let's get to it. You will need two eggplants, two yellow squash, two zucchinis, two bell peppers. I'm using one yellow and one red, a quarter of a white onion, and the recipe I'm using calls for three Roma tomatoes, but I don't have those on my hand right now. So I'm just gonna use a quarter of a can of diced tomatoes. A few sprigs of thyme, parsley, rosemary, and garlic. And I could show you the basil I bought, but it died overnight. M much like our good friend Sora. <sighs> Fuck me. I'm still gonna use it, but it doesn't look pretty enough to be in my ingredient shop, so goodbye. So I'm going to take these bell peppers and we are going to roast them. <laughs> roast them. Great. Let's put these on here until they are completely blackened and scarred for life. Oh, why is it popping? Oh! <laughs> oh, that smells like Bernie. You're not getting it. You're like kind of thick. And not like a good kind of thick, like thick in the head. I don't like the little embers coming off. I don't like the embers. There are embers coming off of it. I don't like the embers. <sighs> Let's give it a whirl. That looks all right. So now that they're all done cooking, I am going to get some aluminum foil and let's cover this all up. So we're just gonna let those sit in their own steam and sweat it out. Like a, uh, like a, uh, like a, uh, Like somebody who's nervous. <laughs> Let's take a look at how these look. Oh, they really did well. Please be careful that it isn't too hot when you start to pull off all the blackened parts. 
What if I just, uh, what if I just, uh, what if I just run them? What if I just put this under, like, uh, the sink? Would that work? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the sink. So that mess is gone. And I probably should have done this before to cut the tops off the bell peppers before you start to roast them. Cause it's getting hard to hold this. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my white onion here. I'm gonna take just a quarter. So we're gonna take our tomatoes, our roasted peppers, our quarter of the onion, and our two cloves of garlic. Should I crush the garlic or just leave them whole? I'm gonna crush them. I like crushing garlic. <laughs> then we're gonna take our blender, get everything in there. Okay, so a quarter of this is like that much. Peppers, oil, garlic. Emma, do you think I should use like this whole thing at time? Yeah, but strip it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's take these leaves off. None of, you can find it to see how potent it is. None of those herbs seem very potent to me. You know what I mean? Oops. Mm-hmm. Is there time? Do we have any more time? Do we have any more time? You tell me. We're gonna add as much parsley as we think looks good. I like my parsley. This is parsley, fresh from my mommy's garden. And we always grow way too much parsley, so I've just gotten used to like having a lot of it. Yeah. And some of my sad little basil. Mmm, this one smells good. So, bless its heart. It smells like there's herbs in there, so. See how it blends. Hey, that looks pretty good. I didn't have to touch it. Mmm. You wanna come smell it? It smells pretty good. Oh, that smells like really good salsa. <laughs> yeah, it's probably because it's mostly tomatoes. Okay, that should be good. Start chopping. Yeah, let's start chopping. I got these two big eggplants. I don't know about you, but they don't look very organic to me. They you look like you're on something, baby. My only thing, um, fear is that they're gonna be too big to like lay down flat and like nice in the ratatouille cooker. But we'll see what happens. So let's start cutting. God, it's a big boy. And the, what everyone says is like the only trick to this and the most important thing is that you gotta cut everything very, very thin. Like look at this big old boy. What am I supposed to do with that? Those look really nice over there, but once it starts getting like super big, they, they're getting thicker. Well, I know, I need to cut it thinner, but I mean, it's hard to do that. I don't have a rat on my head telling me what to do. I can't do all this. Hey, Ginger. <laughs> Since you know I got on my... I didn't turn my lights on again, god damn it. I am, oh. You really hate to see it. Shut up. <laughs> Ooh, that was a very nice and thin guy. Look. Do you think, should I cut some of these like in half? I didn't put olive oil in the mix, oh no. These are getting too thin, too thick. Too thick. Too thick. It's too thick. What do you want me to do about it? Do something, we'll do better. Oh, that. That could be paper. That's a good one. Dangerous, danger, oh, no, oh, danger, oh, ah. So looking pretty good. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. I'm seeing what we're doing. Oh, that was a hard one. Now isn't that, now that just looks nice. I think it looks nice. Now that I've uh, chopped myself into an oblivion, I need olive oil. I need olive oil. I need olive oil. I need olive oil. I'm gonna do a little spritz of olive oil in here. So then I'm gonna preheat my oven to 220 and we are going to get a spatula and we're going to take our Oh yeah, it smells so nice and fresh. I'm so glad I chose to do a summer dish um, in the middle of October. We're gonna spread that around. I'm gonna spread that around in there. Then we're gonna see, we're gonna take one piece, one piece, and one piece, and just lay it down. Very close, tight, tight together. Let's see what a couple bigger pieces do for me. And the one thing I think you do want to keep up is the order. I've got one spiral almost done. This will just be so riveting to edit. I'm sure you're having a real great time. Fuck you. No fuck you. No fuck you. You. No fuck you. Whew, okay. Isn't that just nice? Isn't that just nice? Uh-oh, I'm running out of zucchini. Yeah, I could shove some more in there. Yeah. Beautiful. Then... I want like a nice thin piece from everybody. I'm gonna curl around kind of like this. Ooh. Shove it right in the middle there. Yeah. What you gonna do about that? Mm. <laughs> then real quick, I'm gonna chop up some rosemary. Ooh, that's salt and pepper. These are rosemary. Olive oil, beautimous. I did salt, I did pepper, I did rosemary. Uh, parchment paper. <coughs> Should have done this before. Oh. <laughs> it it kind of just bubbles over. So why do my hands feel like this? Why do I feel like there's glue all over my hands? What? What is that? Okay, so then I'm gonna put this in the oven for at 220 for 90 minutes. Yeah. Oh no, the paper's curling. It's voila! Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? I'm going to take, let's see. If we can't set it nicely. We're gonna do vertical first, then horizontal, and see if it'll stay. Mm, that looks pretty all right. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take some of our leftover puree that we made earlier. Just do a little bit of swirling around there like that. Oh, wow. Then I'm also going to take just a little bit of olive oil too and do the same thing. 
Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, that looks funny. Wow, what great plating. I'm so proud of us. And then, I'm gonna take one teeny tiny little bit of chive and top it off. And that's it. That's rat tattooey. I can't wait to get started on the other pieces that are on this menu and I can't wait to see how they taste. So maybe I'll see you again. And now let's see what it's like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It does taste a lot like uh, eggplant. I like this part. What do I want to say? How, how, do, how do I be funny? I don't know, I've been cooking all day. I think it maybe needs to cook a little longer. I don't know. What do you think, little chef? Good enough for a first try? <laughs> I'll try better next time. I mean, it, it could be better. I don't know. What do you think, little chef? <laughs> I'm going to choke and die. <laughs> what do you think, little chef? Good enough for a first try? Don't look at me. Okay, sorry. <laughs> good, en good enough for... <laughs> Fuck off. That show's good, though. <laughs>